हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई धैर्य भाटिया वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मैथ्स डीएनए फ्रॉम ओरिजिन टू इन्फिनिटी इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ लीनियर एल्जेब्रा सी एस आई नेट जून टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन पार्ट सी बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी शेयर समथिंग विथ यू दैट इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी हायर मैथमेटिक्स कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम एंड लुकिंग फॉर अ मटीरियल प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन बैंक विथ सोल्व क्वेश्चन एज वेल एज टॉपिक वाइज एंड कंबाइंड टेस्ट सीरीज and you can register at the link given below in the description for that moving on to the question the question is let a equals to aij be a 3 cross 3 complex matrix and identify the correct statements the options are a determinant of minus 1 raised to i plus j aij equals to determinant of a second determinant of minus 1 raised to i plus j aij equals to minus of determinant of a option c determinant of under root of minus 1 raised to i plus j a i j equals to determinant of a here simply you can take minus 1 as i square i will tell you further in the solution how to do that and in option d it says minus 1 uh, sorry under root minus 1 raised to i plus j a i j equals to minus determinant of a i would recommend you to pause the video over here and first try this question by yourself Now moving on with the solution, let us take a matrix A whose entries are A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, H. Now I am not taking I because that will be needed further to solve the question. So taking K, you can take any other entries, but keep them as a variable. Also in the question, it is mentioned that A is a complex matrix, but we are considering over here the imaginary part as zero because there is no issue with that. It is also considered as a complex one. Now, as for option A and option B, we have to find determinant of minus one raised to i plus j a i j. So let us find that. Simply, what will be the matrix for first entry A? It is first row and first column, so minus one raised to one plus one, which will be equal to minus one square. So a i j will be simply a. Now for B. Minus one raised to one two because first row and second column that will give you minus one cube and which is minus one so minus one into b. Similarly for c, first row third column minus one raised to one plus three which is equal to four and that gives one. So c remains as it is. So we get negative sign at a one two, a two one, a two three and a three two. B D F and H. Then taking minus sign common from the middle row, we get the following matrix A minus B C D minus E F and G minus H K. Again taking minus one common from the second column, we get minus one whole square into determinant of A B C D E F and G H K. Just go through the properties of determinant. When you take common or you multiply, you multiply that with each. Row or with that column, not for all the columns. That is same. So here you get it as determinant of a because minus one square is nothing but one itself. So it says that option A is true and option B is false because it was given that determinant. Sorry, that is minus of determinant of a. Now similarly for option C and option D, we have to find the value of determinant of minus one. That is raised to, under root raised to i plus j a i j. Simply take minus one as i square and root of i square will be i. Now here i is a complex number whereas the power i plus j is the entry of row and column. Then we will get a matrix whose determinant can be found as minus a minus i b c minus i d e i f g i h and minus k. Let me tell you how it is done. For a, we already have i raised to i plus j. That i in the bracket is a complex number. i plus j is one plus one. That is i square and i square is minus one, so minus a. Similarly, minus i for a minus i b, it is first row and second column. So i raised to one plus two, that is three, so i cube, which is minus i, so minus i into b. And for c, my I raised to one plus three, that is four. I raised to four is nothing but one, so C remains as it is, and we simplify that. Now taking again 
minus sign from the middle row we get d i e and minus f again taking i common from the middle column we get minus i into i and the determinant of the remaining matrix which is again simplified and we get it as determinant of a i would recommend you to pause the video over here as well and try to solve these steps by yourself and see are you able to solve them or not you just need to take the elements common and simplify the determinant and this gives us that option c will be correct and option d is incorrect so the correct answer are option a and option c thank you and you can be a member of our social club and watch 290 plus videos on our youtube channel and get a complete study material for any higher mathematics competitive exam from our telegram channel